Hello. This week I'm drinking a 56k modem by Double Barreled. This is a 5.1% West Coast Pale Ale. Like so many other breweries, Double Barreled was started by home brewers, in this case uh, Mike and Lucy Clayton Jones. Now we contacted Mike and he gave us some insight into the method of hopping for this beer. Um, the hops used in this beer are Chinook, Amarillo Cryo and Artanum Cryo. Um, just a quick note about these cryo hops. These are actually a trademark product by YCH. Now, YCH are extremely protective of their cryo product and they won't have it repacked. As home brewers, um, they're really difficult to get hold of, but we do have an equivalent product in the BBC hop pellets uh, that we supply in homebrew friendly packaging. Anyhow, uh, back to the beer. So Mike doesn't do a conventional hop charge. Instead, he has taken inspiration from Dogfish Head's method of continual hopping. Um, they use this in their 60, 75, 90 and 120 minute IPA range. Dogfish Head have a specially designed machine nicknamed Sir Hops a lot uh, that that doses these beers with measured amount of hops continually throughout the beer, uh, throughout the boil, sorry. Um, Mike has suggested that he doesn't quite go this far, but they do take what would be their initial bittering charge and instead of adding it in one go, they continually add for 20 minutes, then follow the same process uh, later on in the boil for the later, uh, later boil additions. Mike has explained that the reason for this approach is that it changes the flavour profile of the hops used. These are small differences, but they do set this beer apart. My thought that it actually is adding to the particularly piney flavour profile that this beer exhibits. Uh, we're going to have to do uh, an experiment um, with this hopping method and a uh, side-by-side brew planned where one will be conven conventionally hopped and the other one continually hopped. Um, so look out for a blog post on that coming soon. For Whirlpool editions on their West Coast style beers such as this, it's carried out it's carried out directly after the boil at flame out whilst the wort is still near boiling. This means they get solid bitterness from the hops and it reduces the whirlpool um, period right down to about eight minutes. Now this is important as wort near boiling temperature has a chance of forming DMS and that's the corn type flavour that would be seen as a fault in this style of beer. Um, obviously there's no, uh, no hint of it here, this beer is absolutely delicious. I know many of you are really into like the softer, fluffy IPAs, but to get the rounded bitterness that this beer delivers is a real treat. See you next week. Cheers.